Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We are playing Curse of the Dead Gods. So, a cool person in our Discord server actually suggested this game a while back, and I looked into it, and I was like, okay, yeah, I think it's time we give this game a shot. I have not played it, so this is literally my first impression of the game. I don't even know what the controls are like. Suspenseful. I like it. Atmospheric. And you trapped. Okay, yeah, so look at this game. It's like, uh, what's the one game? Diablo. I've never played Diablo. But uh, from what I've seen of Diablo, this is familiar. Okay, wait, so we got torch. Sword. And gun. Oh, okay. Just getting the feel for this. Okay, I get it. Hmm. Nice. Cool. Let's us be Link. Breaking pots and shit. The good stuff. Ooh, what's this way? Wait, I better check this out first. This looks like an important door. But there's other ways to go. Nope, there isn't. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's hop in here. Open sesame. Oh shit. That was, the door was a little too spicy for him. Dang. He's got that like cursed Breath of the Wild 2 hand. I like it. Are y'all excited for Breath of the Wild 2? Because I sure as heck am. Oh, I can't wait. The uh, remaster of um, Skyward Sword came out. And I played it. And I was like, oh yeah, now I remember why I hate this game. <laughs> it's still fun though. Don't get me wrong. Okay, light and dark. Light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases all damage you take by 50%. Makes sense. Watch out for the indicator at the bottom of your screen to know if you're standing in light or dark. Okay, well, let's light torches. Dodge and stamina. Okay. Okay, and that's block. Okay. So, we have to do something here. Oh, we have to dodge the spikes, I'm guessing. Okay. No? Okay, wait. No, this is all just tutorial. Use attack button. Yeah, I don't need your help. I know how to attack. Yeah, son, looks like I played this before, but I haven't. Juicy. Get some of my gun. Oh, wow, that does no damage. Oh, crap. I'm not good. It was a lie. <laughs> I want to practice the dodging with enemies. Ah, okay. I'm not good. No. I gotta get better at the dodge timing. Okay, it says defeat all enemies. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to use secondary or something? Oh, okay. oh I see. I was being stupid. I wasn't reading.
Nice. Okay, hold main attack and release it. Trigger charge. Hold secondary. Ow! Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Hold secondary attack, then release at a perfect timing to trigger a perfect shot. Oh! Like that. Chain a secondary attack after a series of main attacks to trigger an offhand combo. Like that? I'm confused on what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, wait, like that. Okay. Oh boy. This is like Dark Souls shit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Harry at the very last moment. Oh, this is not gonna go well for me, I can already tell. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay, are we done? Oh, boy. Crystal Skull. Crystal Skulls are pow powerful artifacts. You can collect them or collect from fallen enemies. Uh, crystal Skulls are bound to your character and persist even after death. Between each exploration you can trade crystal skulls in the underground or underworld in exchange for permanent upgrades. Okay, so this is like the good good currency. Okay, Jade Rings are gifts from the dead god and those who overcome the trials of the temple. Jade Rings are bound to your character and persist even after death. After each exploration, you can trade Jade Rings in the Underworld to gain access to new gear. Okay, wait, so Jade Rings are currency too. Okay, I get you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh boy. Now for... Skill Trees, I presume. Uh... Relic, gold, attributes. So what happens if I hit gold? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little confused. Oh, what I just did? Watch out for your corruption gauge at the bottom right of your screen. Each door you go through increases your corruption. For each full gauge you become corrupted and crossing the next door will curse you. Okay, that's cool. What does that mean? <laughs> Man, I'm just a babe in the woods. What the fuck is happening? I'm so confused. Oh boy. No oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I'm feeling it. It's going to take time for me to get used to this. Greed kills. After death, an enemy, the greed kill timer starts. Chain kills to increase your greed kill 
Uh, count the amount of gold released by enemies. Hitting enemies, perfect dodges and parries. Refill the timer. Oh boy. Greed kill series reset if timer drops off or if you're, you take damage. Okay, so... What? What? <laughs> oh, what the hell is that shit? Okay, so these are traps. Oh, but I, I activate them, so I can use them against guys. Cool. Okay, okay. Uh, regain 4% of max health when you pass through doors. Hell yeah, that sounds great. Use the inventory action to to consult your current current gear. You also have access to the codec and system options throughout the interface. Okay. So, okay, we got this. Okay. Uh, I still don't know what I picked up when I left there because I went with gold and then it hurt me or something or I don't know. Okay. Uh, so we got this. Regain 4% of max health when passing through doors. That's really good, actually. Okay, bestiary. I always love when games have uh, bestiaries. Exploration. Okay. Status. And system. Cool. Okay. I'm getting the hang of it. Can you run? Can you run? No, you cannot. Okay. Okay, uh... No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, Barb Javelin. Nice. Two-handed weapons. Okay, yeah. Um, I prefer that, honestly. Okay, wait. And these little, like, gem things. Oh, I totally lost that. It's kind of like your stamina? Killing a... Burning enemy restores one max health. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm picking up what it's putting down. Okay, now, I guess this is like some sort of, like, system. I think I kind of get it. Oh, okay, so I picked gold, so I got gold. And then it takes you up the tree. So... Hmm. Weapon up. Go that way, that way. Uh... Okay, we'll see what, what are attributes. Okay, I don't know what that does. I should have read it better. Um... Hmm. Oh, what the hell? Man, this this game wants you dead. Everything wants you dead. That's dandy. Whoa. What is this? Seeker Mace. Yes, please. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. 
What is this? Make a gold offering to spend gold for it. Make a blood offering to get it for free at the cost of some corruption. Hmm. Okay, uh, gold offering, offer blood. Okay, and we can get uh, plus 250 max health, 10% damage, 250 max health plus... Okay, oh, okay, I see. But we do not have enough muns to buy this one. Okay, and it shows, okay, blood. I see the corruption. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm getting it. Let's buy. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> I don't, I'm going to go damage. We won't corrupt ourselves, though, because we have the, <clears throat> we have the money. What is this? Nothing? Okay. Okay, now we're here already. So now we can go this way. I still don't know what these are doing. Gold gives you gold. I'm guessing gold gives you gold. Um, but the one I got last time that has the the little dudes. I don't know what that does. Healing. I'm guessing this heals? Let's grab this, see if it ups our health. Okay, it does. And it ca and it causes corruption. Um I'm, 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 I'm getting it. I'm understanding. I feel you. This doesn't sound good. Okay, that took my blood? Wait a minute. It's like tra trade corruption for health, I guess. Okay, good to know. Um, Let's... I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll go this way. Wait, what? Did I lose health? What is happening? Uh, reflected temple. Reflected temple. How can one know when one is consumed by sadness until a mirror reveals the tragedies etched upon the face? That's deep. Uh, temple can switch appearance at any time and turn into mirror mode. You gain plus five perception. I don't even know what that means. Or, okay, so we get perception each time you fill your corruption. Yeah, okay. Each time it fills up, we get a curse. And the curses are kind of like good and bad, depending. Hmm. Okay, we want... Oh, okay, okay. I'm understanding. I'm understanding. Y'all are understanding too? Man, anybody who's actually played this game must be like, Ooh, this hurts to watch. You is so bad. I mean, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, th so that's the curse. It just mirrors everything. That's just a little confusing. Kills, increase movement speed... Okay, so now we have like a a super arrow. Hell yeah, dude, this is badass. Okay, well this is, that's a really good weapon. I'm liking it. Wait, we got another one? Okay, it just does the same thing. Okay, and... Another relic, 20% base damage for maces. That's perfect for us, because we got a mace. Honestly, this curse ain't that bad. I kind of wish I could run. Okay, well, I think that should be it for this area. Okay, weapon upgrade. Okay, so I'm guessing this gives us a weapon... And this upgrades our weapon. Or our damage? I'm guessing? Okay, I'm still learning. There's still a lot I don't understand. Ah, I tried to dodge. Come <laughs> on. 
I love this bow. Nice. Oh, it's a healer. No, oh, it's a summoner. Oh, no. Okay. Kill the healers first. Also, I should have been lighting torches. Okay, we can either buy a mace. 24 plus 10. This is 20 plus 9. So it would do more damage. Pistol that I don't really want. A bow that does more damage. Removes one corruption for each enemy killed. Honestly, I kind of want to find out more about the corruption. So I'm not going to worry about corruption that much. Ah. Let's not, let's not buy anything, actually. I don't think we need it. Man, the ambience, dude, in this game is creepy as hell. I love it. Definitely, already, uh, already, I can tell you, I'm giving this game a 10 out of 10. Okay, let's heal. Okay, this is health for corruption. Let's do it. Because so far, the corruption's not too bad. Okay, gold. We have a shit ton of gold now. And we're probably going to be getting a curse again in this next area, or after this area. Okay, let's light this jam up. Whoa, we got big boy. Oh! Ah, uh, he's almost dead. Yeah, I'm liking that bow. Okay, uh, let's grab the gold, I guess. Hey, wait a minute. It's like a Legend of Zelda bombable wall. I wonder, you probably need a special type of weapon, maybe? Hmm. Looks like we... Oh, no, we didn't get everything. What is this? What kind of treasure? Ancient buckler. Yes, please. Swap that out. Okay, so... Okay, so... So it shield bashes. Okay, that's cool. I still like the bow, though. Okay, weapon unknown. Let's go with unknown. I'm feeling risky biscuits. I didn't really see what I got, though. Okay, curse number two. What do we get? Uh, Tamox Dominion is fire. Trap it in a bottle, and the bottle will explode. Explosion or explosive barrels have an increased explosion radius. I don't even know if I've noticed a uh, exploding barrels yet. Uh, let's get that fire going. I didn't start the fire. Oh, okay. That's not good. Oh. I, I tried to roll through him. Big mistake.
Oh boy. Hmm, okay. It kind of shows where everything's gonna go, which is nice. Okay, I did get turned around that time. Uh, okay. 20% chance to inflict lightning. Hmm. That's definitely better. That is better. Fire damage. Okay, what's this bow like? Poisoned enemies. Increase kill, increase movement speed for five seconds. That's kind of nice. Let's, uh, let's buy this, though. Okay, wait. So did that swap out my weapon? Let's see. Can I look at my stuff? Okay, I guess it just automatically swaps it out. Okay, negative 10% gold offering cost. And then these are my curses. Okay, I'm understanding. Okay, and I guess those three, like, uh, skull things in the bottom are showing, like, my increases. So, like, one does uh, damage, one does health, one does something else, I'm guessing. I'm just trying, or, I don't know. I'm still figuring out that. Like, the, the three little heads by the bow and arrow down in the bottom left. Don't really know what they do quite yet. Okay, we're fighting the boss now, I guess. And we got another curse. Fool's Bounty. The more a soul desires, the darker it becomes. Stealing from ancient powers leaves an even darker stain on the greedy. Opening a gold chest now inflicts corruption. Gold chests contain more gold. So, it, okay. It, like, it balances itself out. So, I guess you can just play this game, like, wanting corruption. Eey. Boss, okay, the Blood Hunter. Ow. I thought I was stun locking him or something. Ow. Oh, we did a second one right away. Okay, so you need to, like, balance out your stamina. Because if you run out of the stamina, you can't dodge attacks. Oh, do you see that double parry? Do you see that double parry? Double. Oh, I missed that one. Dude, y'all gotta give me some props on that. <laughs> Freaking noob pulling off double parries on a boss. Dude, that was sick. I love that this game has parries, because, like, uh, that was my favorite part of uh, Dark Souls. Was, like, you don't have to parry, but pulling the parries off were impressive. Just made you feel like a badass. Ooh, and I almost died, too. Okay, progress, 100%, new record. Time, playtime, okay, gold collected. Crystal Skulls collected, Jade Rings collected, cool. Mm-hmm, okay. Nice. So that was one run? Or wait a minute. Blood emblem acquired. Six new blessings available. Underworld. The underworld is a place beneath or between life and death where the dead gods slumber. Use the interact 
interaction action near the center sta steel in the main hall to access the underworld. Then there you can offer crystal skulls and jade rings to the gods to unlock new upgrades. All under... Uh, okay, yeah. Basically the hub world. And I'm guessing... What is this? Start... Hmm. I have no idea what that is. Is this the hub? Oh, okay, this is the underworld, I'm guessing. Blessings. Oh, okay, so these are like starting perks. And we can have two at the moment. And we only have 26 crystal skulls, so we can, can't really buy much. Gain fury. Deal 50% more damage for six seconds when you take damage. Man, that'd be good for me right now. Greed kills. Restore one more stamina. Maybe we should save up, actually. Let's save up. Gain a thousand gold and five perception at the start of your exploration. Traps deal 100% more damage to enemies. Hmm. So basically traps will one-hit KO enemies. That's interesting. And then requires three. Okay, requires three of the gold things to unlock this. Okay. Forsaken weaponry. And then this is buying weaponry for the run. I wonder if these are permanent. Or if this is just like a one-time purchase, per, uh, purchase for the run. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, that's cool. What does banish mean? Hmm. Store weapons so you can... Oh, okay, you can find them in the temple. I get it. So it's like unlocking, kind of like Binding of Isaac. I think Binding of Isaac had that kind of in it. Weapon altars in the main hall offer gear before your ex exploration. Restore altars for more choices. Okay, so this is using those skulls to restore altars. Let's restore one. Oh, this is the one we already have restored. So now it's double restored? Divine Favor. Refresh the gear offered in the weapon and relic shrines. Unlock more Divine Favor to increase the number of times you can refresh your choice during an exploration. After each exploration, you regain all your Divine Favor. Okay... Wait, what did I just unlock? Uh, okay, we used the rest of our crystal skulls. Oh no, okay, we did get another shrine. So hammer and dagger, cool. Okay, so I think I'm kind of understanding this game. I don't think I want to play this game offline though. I'm probably only going to record this game because I'm really enjoying it already. And I think we will do quite a bit of... Uh, we'll do a decent, like, series of this. Do a few, like, definitely quite, like, a few episodes, you know? But I think that's going to do for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and all that business. Let me know what you think of the game. Give me tips if you have any tips to share. And, yeah, uh, feel free to suggest any other games you'd like to see me play on the channel. Check out the Discord. It's a pretty cool place, yeah? Yeah? Well, as always, I will see you guys in the next one.